Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Springdale, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. It's like I forgot my shoes today. Anyway, I have a 16 by 12 by 16 inch canvas and I have a plan to make a sky with my orange cell activator and some pinks. So the first thing I really want to do is give myself a wet layer of paint before I use the Amsterdam as a pillow. The Amsterdam will have just regular Floetrol in it. But the reason I'm wanting a wet layer is so that I can hopefully make anything, any kind of lacy orange on pink flow, spread. I want to be able to tilt it. And I'm not sure how much I need, but I don't want a huge overabundance. So I'm going to try and move it down some. I guess I'm going to add a little more. It's not going to make any difference because I can't really work on the second half until tomorrow, but that'll be whenever this is over for you. And that is a thing that does not belong, which we always like to remove whenever possible. I know I'm fussing. And then she spread paint, white paint, for three minutes. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that off because I might want to use it again for something. I'm not sure what. I wasn't planning on using it for this for this swipe, but I could. I've got this stainless steel spatula. That was my plan. I guess we'll find out together what I'm going to do. So I kind of want to go from the top down. I'm not sure that's... I think I'm going to have to go... There is something rather large in there that I need to get out right now. I saw it come in. Okay, now I've got a color that's not my favorite, but I know it works well with other colors, so I'm going to use it. And usually I would torch, and maybe I should, because there's a lot of bubbles in there. A lot, a lot. That's because I shook it before we started. I think just for general principles, because I have light colors, I'm gonna I'm gonna add light colors. Oh boy, that's dangerous. Anyway, if I have pale blue or pale pale um, pale pink areas in my sky, that's okay too. This is frosted berry. And for the moment, my turntable is behaving. I finally figured out that I had to move the tile that's resting on the round top equidistantly from all sides. This is, did I say, fluorescent coral. I have some pink diamond. I'm contemplating adding either frosted frostbite or some Chantilly lace to the top. But this is pink carnation. And I really want enough paint, so I'm really thinking a little more of the frosted berry. Oh, I almost forgot the Cupid's Crush. Colors will be under the video in the description. So it's obviously a mostly red sky. <laughs> Except for the orange. I kind of should have maybe mixed them up. Let's make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, the right hand edge. I'm dyslexic sometimes, so it pays to pay attention. Now, I really should have started in the middle so I had some place to tip to. Let's let that spread down a little and back a little so I have the full. Now, 
I kind of thought about it in advance and it would I thought it would be okay if I had some white areas. And since this is sky, and skies are not uniform by any stretch of the imagination, it doesn't matter. So I got some cells but I didn't really get what I was after. So I'm contemplating doing something again. Because I really don't have a choice if I want what I want. So I'm going to do the frosted berry again. And probably just a little bit of the pink diamond. Which I'm obviously getting to the bottom of. Now I know there's a way to make larger cells than I've got. And I think I'm going to wipe off this spatula. Not only that, I think I'm just going to use the spatula that I that I wanted to use to begin with. Or maybe not to begin with, but the afterthought. I'm going to try my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And I'm going to try and rest it. I'm going to take my paint that's excess on my spatula this time. Try and utilize it across the top edge. And if there's enough, maybe even that other side. Pop that bubble. And we're going to see if I can tip this. Steal a little more paint. Looks like there is enough paint to tip. We'll see in a second. I didn't get all the cells I wanted, but I still like the colors. I don't know if that's a thing. Or a bubble. So I'm going to let everything flow down. My orange shell activator has been working quite nicely, so I'm kind of surprised to see it not working as well. I love the fact that the skies are unruly at best, so I can get away with doing whatever I want. I thought about it and, it, and when I make an abstract scape, if I just left myself a horizon line, I could add trees and it could be any kind of strange setup and it would still be great. Well, those cells are turning out to be very beautiful over here. And as my paint drips down, And since there's white underneath, I'll get some strange cell, same strange looking cloud formations. And I thought about maybe doing another wave on the bottom half of this, but we'll have to wait and see what I do, what I do to decide when it's dry. I'd like to cover that edge without any gaps, but I don't think it's as important as I'm making it out to be. That's pretty stunning. That's really, really nice. I want to spread it down now. <laughs> I moved it up and now I want it down. It looks like there's a big red dragon in the sky. It doesn't get cooler than that. And I like white skies, I really do, and I don't know why I never do them. So there's definitely room for change. I'm sure I used to do, do them occasionally. I remember there's an incredibly beautiful pink sky sea, ski, seascape. <laughs> and anytime you've got really nice colors on your spatula when you're doing this kind of stuff, you could even dip into your cloud. I'm going down for it, going for it again. They're too pretty not to share with the rest of the canvas. And 
anywhere I want a cloud, I could just blow into it because of the white base. And, and change things up a little. Hopefully not down to canvas. Alright, I want that to go over that way. Go, go, go. I think if I find my straw softer would have been better, I guess. I want some of this. As long as my, ooh, look at that, score. I want some of that <laughs> right there. I'm going to take everything and anything I can get. Living in Florida and walking the dog at a certain time of year when the when the sun is setting is pretty spectacular, I have to say. So that's quite the nice sky. And I think this is the end of part one. Not that I didn't take up a lot of time. I'm sure I did. Excuse me. <coughs> Don't ask me what I'm doing. I just wish I could spread that down that in that direction. And that one gap, the, the, the white gap that looks like it's the perfect size for an eye, I think it's got to go. If I dab it with my finger, you know what? I can get this to spread the whole length. It's just, I'm going to have to fast forward to do it for you, because otherwise it's going to be a while. In the meantime, I'm just going to pick up whatever I see on my silicone mat, put it in any gaps I see, including that little crease on the end of all the canvases. And anything at the top. It's making its way slowly, and it's kind of sort of as close to what I wanted as I think I was capable of getting this early in the practice of orange cell activator usage. I still want to blow it over. too hard so it didn't go all the way down to white which is good because that is not what I really want to do. You know what? I've got a mini blower. I wonder if it's still hooked up. Thinking a little more paint would have worked out. Sorry that took me so long. I was enjoying myself though. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in a second. I love how, how the orange is actually kind of subtle. Great sky. I might put a line of something. I might just keep working. That's more frosted berry. I kind of wanted some water lily, but I've got paint on my spatula, which means I should be able to spread this other paint pretty well. 
We'll see. All right, I gotta quit. Quit while I'm ahead. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I like how this dried. Although I had a couple little white fissures, like not deep, and I just used some pink carnation in there. I'm going to play with the idea of giving myself a sandy beach, and I'm going to use some Decor Americana 24 karat gold. And weirdly enough, I'm going to spread that around. And I don't know why I want to try the French silk, but I do. And it's prison pour. I'm still contemplating putting a wave in. And the reason I put the gold down first is because if I put the white down first or the the French silk down first, then I don't have any option to get rid of the line that it creates or resist underneath. I'm using whatever I can scrape up to cover my bottom edge. I'm going to get that thing out of there. I hope. got to sort of float the spatula if you want a nice even layer. I've got a bunch of blues out, including some of my favorites from recent paintings. Sea Dancer is one of them. It's still easy to get the paint off the canvas since it's a pre-painted canvas. I want all of that gold. I don't need to waste any of it. And if there happens to be a shadow through the gold, it's the same color as the sky where I wiped up my spatula yesterday, it's okay because it would look like a reflection, which I kind of regret not leaving. There's a cat hair on the end of my finger. It could be an Oshi hair too. My dog visited me in the studio yesterday, pushed the screen that's in my door right in. It wasn't violent, it was just, I'm here! <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. So, I'm just going to let that be, I think. I see there's a little bit of a line along the edge of the canvas, but I don't like it. I never do. But a frame would cure that problem. Or a heavy enough layer of paint, I suppose. I'm just going to wipe that off. Not worry about any marks. Beaches aren't smooth completely. Now, what am I going to do now? I think I'm going to grab the frostbite. I'm going to shake the frostbite. So whatever juiciness is at the top is gone. might want more of that. I'm tempted by the cerulean blue, but I had a painting I did that was practice, and I used this phalo turquoise, and the photograph will never show it like it looks, but it looks both neon and luminescent and jewel toned. It's just the most amazing color. I think rather than use up the rest of that, I'm going to use, this is the phalo turquoise. This is the blue green. They're both vivid intenses. And so, I'm thinking this blue-green might be a good option. As long as I can get something to come out. Now, 
I do want to use, I guess I'm going to try for the wave. I don't know what I'm going to do, really and truly. I'm going to play with it until I'm happy, is that's, that's the bottom line. I do need to, I do know I need a little more paint. So that's where the Sea Dancer is coming in, that I wish would open. Are you plugged? You are plugged. Just the tip though. Should have checked that, I'm sorry. Hate to waste your time. Although I gotta say, watching the videos longer is a huge help to me. Now I'm thinking to myself, I like the sea glass and I didn't pull any of that out. But I could. Right now, this sea monster, this sparkling aqua. I found the sea glass. Ooh, and I made more. It's a primary element. And I really just want, I wish I could just leave those colors right like they are. I'm going to use some Midnight Shadow so that there is a dark horizon line. Or there is at least at this exact moment because we don't know what's going to happen. I still haven't gotten to the part where I'm going to be swiping things. But I'm going to do that right now. Of course, it does not matter if the colors get mixed up because they're ocean colors anyway. And even though it was my intention to make a wave, I'm not sure that's the absolute right thing to do at this point. I kind of like that. That looks like waves. That does, That's not so much. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the in-between. <laughs> I probably should have made it pink. It's not too late for me to use some white cell activator. In fact, I'm thinking since I'm here and I have way too much paint, that might be the only solution to this situation that I've created. By dragging the spatula across, I can see that there is something in the paint needs to go away. And I've got a scrape dish, so as long as that paint is viable, it's a resource. Seeing the sea glass sort of appear through the other colors is neat because it looks like water to me anyway all right so now <laughs> now we're right down to it I'm not sure putting the gold down without letting it dry in place wasn't might not have been my best plan. I have smaller spatulas for doing just exactly what I'm doing. And I need that color to go over the edge. And I thought about dropping some more sea glass right in there because I love the way it looks. I know there's going to be another 18 minute video section of this. And any any time I dredge up any colors, 
They're lighter from behind. Just to me it looks like water. Reflections on the water. I can hear my dog's toenails on the tile. <laughs> He's creeping up on us again. Okay, I've got one side of this is hanging over the edge of the, the tile on my turntable, and that one is easy to manipulate. This one, not so much. So I'm going to do that right now. I might still put something that reminds me of an island along the horizon. I do like putting my spatula into the water and leaving horizontal marks. But I better stop playing soon and decide if I'm going to put some white cell activator in and what I'm going to do. And for that, I'm hoping the edge of the gold is dried. And I'm just going to take the tiniest residual off my spatula that I'm getting that I'm getting from pulling up. It's actually pretty helpful that the canvas is pre-painted. Bring a little more paint in for my scrape dish. Good thing to keep your paint. As long as it's viable, it's a resource. Alright, now, I think instead of taking my chances with the spatula, I'm going to put, I'm going to wipe that excess off. I've got more spatulas, so I'm going to throw this one in the bucket so it doesn't dry on. And I'm going to use some Amsterdam white an Australian Floatrol cell activator and my playing card. And wipe that off. I want to go along the whole front edge before I get too creative, like I just tried to do something I sh it was too soon to do. And if I put paint along the edge of that gold, I might be able to blow into it with a straw. If I left myself enough paint. I don't, I have to, I have to say, I don't actually care if it sells or not. But it'd be cool if it did. I don't know how it's going to look. I've never tried to make little tiny waves. My idea was to pull up from the bottom. And what I was doing when I was making waves before was pulling up from the top. Pulling down from the top. Excuse me. There, I got one wave and another one. That works pretty good, actually. Pick up a little bit of cell activator again. I got a few cells. Got what I wanted. Hopefully I have enough I'm going to wipe off my card so I don't have any more blue. I might have to need, use a little more activator. I'm going to try this over here. I 
I like it. I'll pretend there's breakers on the reef. I had all those nice marks in there. Not sure they're perfect waves, but I'm going to put a little bit more cell activator in and then I might call it good. Although I haven't looked at it and I might want to do something else. Like tuck a little sun underneath those clouds. I'll go up from the bottom. I hate to leave the paint on the card because there's no way to tell if I'm going to get exactly what I want. But I'm getting enough of what I want to be happy, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And I'm getting some beautiful little cells. And it makes me feel like I'm at the seashore. Anything that I don't have exactly as I want, I can try and blow out. That's pretty cool. I kind of think that I might want to do something crazy. Take a little jasmine. kind of want some white along the horizon. I guess I could use the cell activator I've got out because it's not going to get used for anything else. I'm going to throw that card in the bucket and grab a new one. I'm just going to take a fingerful to facilitate time. So I love you guys. I have 33 playlists. 33? 34? Going on. And uh, they each have 100 videos in them. I'm also, I've also got playlists organized by topic and genre. Well, that was risky. That was way too close. To the blue. Now, if I wanted to come back tomorrow, which I would recommend tomorrow was a better day, but I don't want to come back tomorrow, so you're going to get it the way it is. Well, if I want to stop, I can stop and come back again in a second. But in the meantime, I think what I want to do is take some Tuscan Sun. I've got a Q-tip if I don't like it. Put a little bit of a sun, a little bit of a sunburst in there, and because I don't want to get out. Come on. This is my orange cell activator again. Alright. I love you guys. Why don't you take care of each other? Take care of yourselves. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I'm not sure if you're still here or not. 
and I might mess around with, like that's bothering me. And I want to check, see if everything's cool. I should have got, I ran out of time. I'm going to shimmer at you and tell you what? That uh, my email address is E-A-S-P-B in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I kind of like the way this turned out. It's a uh, breezy day at the beach. I might have a couple things I want to fix, like that has a hard line. It doesn't need to be a hard line. My edges, I want to bring the color around the edges so it's even at the horizon. No big deal. Uh, please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos. You help me out. When you watch them longer, you're the biggest help of all, and that's insanely helpful. <laughs> it's the only thing the YouTube algorithm is responding to nowadays. My papering recipe is underneath show more. Um, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and a whole lot of other things like my couple of websites and fineartamericapixels.com, Society6, The Gallerist, all on my link tree in the description under the video. Very close to the 20% off color art coupon code, very close to the 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. And uh, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board should show you tomorrow's video at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Could, could happen late at night though, it usually does in fact. I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida and I love you guys intensely. You inspire me always. Thank you for being here. I want to say thank you, huge thank you to all my members who are keeping my channel alive and uh, know that everyone who contributes through PayPal or Patreon, I love you guys. <laughs> you are helping me buy art supplies and canvases and keeping me painting here, uh, at least for now. Uh, someday I'm going to have to buy storage again. Uh, I love to sell my paintings and so if you have an interest in purchasing an artwork, uh, please contact me via EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I didn't shimmer at you. Look at that. Priscilla out.